What's up guys, Ben here bringing you another video today. Uh, I talked about this on my last video. I want to do a video on sort of the Paris situation. So let's dive in. I want to visually show you guys kind of what's going on with the team, the current thinking, some of the potential options and why this might take a second for this roster to lock. All right, so we're using the breaking point roster builder tool here. And starting off, we have Don, the team. Obviously he's been re-signed as far as I'm aware. Seems like he may also be getting either additional years for his contract or an extension, but my brother Don is getting the bag. So we respect that. I think the next player that's going to kind to end up sort of on this team and i think it sort of again comes down to sort of like the lack of options is tj i think just his flexibility of being able to run either an ar or a sub and the lack of sort of other sub options that probably want to hop on this team i think it's likely that these two are probably option a and option b at the moment but it gets a little bit funky from there right so we're looking at you probably want an aggressive sub player to pair with tj who's your second sub and you probably want another ar player so you got a couple of potential ar players right you've got big cap um, my only concern with this is I don't know if the capsule Donnie chemistry will be that good. I think they're two players that don't like to really play around the objective. And it, it, it's fine with Don if he wants to be sort of the push out cuts guy. If you paired him with like an accuracy who's going to soak that hill time, like that works. Uh, but I just don't see Cap really adapting that play style well. So that might not be really the best option. And I think the next kind of, as we go down the list, is really going to be sort of would Clay fit on this team? Uh, would, would Crib Six fit on this team? I think definitely it's possible for either of them but i don't know if the economics are going to work for them the sort of uh team house or sort of facility situation my guess is paris will play at a dallas so that probably works for both clay and crim and not having to move but i just don't know if the, this team's really thinking about bringing them on or they're going with different options on the air front another intriguing option for this team and i can't really pull them up on the select a player list if we're talking about ars uh is general i actually think this might actually end up being a potential good spot for general not a lot of pressure you can come in and kind of be that leader i know Don was sort of looking for that leadership and general generally general when he's not um been a sub on optic and has been in like his past life at e6 like he's definitely fit that role general can definitely slay with the best him from the ar standpoint so actually all things considered general might actually be a good fit for this roster some potential other options adam assault mohawk although i think mohawk might have already turned on an offer from this team from what i've heard goderex and diamond con are like two other challengers ars i can think of that would be a good pair with don so a lot of ar options they're not all amazing and I do think that Paris will probably take their time to sort of evaluate each, but there are definitely possibilities there to, to build a solid AR core around Donnie and someone else. So we start talking about sub players on this team, it gets a little bit sketchy. Royalty's run a sub in the past, but I don't know if maybe this is the right team fit for him, but sure, let's toss it out as an option here. It's possible they bring back either Jimbo or they bring back either Johnny, both comparable quality sub players who I don't think got like really the best run in last time, especially Jimbo having to play from Canada. I don't think that was a helpful situation. So curious to see kind of what Paris do that should bring back one of those players. I think then the issue is at that point, the sort of rest of sort of FA free agents or CDL sub players. The list isn't amazing at that point. And you have a couple of players I think probably don't really want to play on this team, nor do I think that these are, you know, some of these players, I think someone like Donnie would want a team with. So you start looking at challengers players, right? Obviously Vickle's an interesting name, but it seems like he's going to Florida. So probably not an option there. I like potentially Brack on this roster, but again, he might be going to Florida. Obviously you got Dan Gosey, but I don't really know what Don and them think of him, but interesting option potentially. You know, I actually really like Brezzy on this team. I do think it'd be kind of tricky because Donnie probably wants to run more of the flex role, but maybe there's a role where Donnie wants to run main and Brezzy runs flex, or maybe Brezzy wants to be second sub, but I really do think Brezzy deserves a shot in the CDL. So let's toss him out as an option. Obviously really like Wardy, really want to see him on a team. He may be currently going to another squad potentially, but I do think it's worth for Paris to entertain this option. Some other potential kind of interesting things here. Obviously you got Pentagram, who was a sub for LA Thieves last year, didn't play for them at all on the pro level. And Journey obviously was previous on Atlanta Phase Academy. So he's been involved with DDL ecosystem. Obviously he was on Minnesota Academy this year. I like Journey. Uh, English has gotten a lot better, but I don't think he's probably high up on the list of options on the Paris end. So look, I think this Paris thing is gonna take a while to solidify. Obviously like there's really only one person on the team right now. I'm assuming that TJ's there, but they may even take their sweet time before they decide to go forward with TJ. So you're looking at three roster spots. You got a Florida situation that's not locked. You got London situations that's not locked. So really no rush for Paris right here to do this. And I expect it's gonna take them about three or four weeks to really get a firm roster here for us to take a look at. So let me know what you all think. Like what Paris lineup would you guys like to see? Is there any specific squad that you think they should assemble that you think would kind of help them get out of sort of the basement of CDL that they have been in the last three years? Let me know in the comments what you think. As always, if you like this video, smash that like button. We'll be pumping up content on this channel, obviously, every day for you so stay tuned for that and please subscribe if you want to see more of this and as always guys we'll see you in the next one